Hey guys, welcome to the another Eden 1.3 update. It is the 1000 year arc of the Ocean Palace update that's coming to global. The new characters added to the dreams is going to be Nagi and Chio. You're also going to get another free character that's going to be part of the story called Sheila. Um, there's going to be a new side story event called the Thousand Year Arc of the Ocean Palace, and there's going to be a new side story dungeon to farm the points for the story called the Dragon Palace, and the long-awaited fishing system will arrive. Let's go over Chio. She's a 3-4 to four star unit. She uses a staff. Her attribute is Earth, type is Light. Her role is mainly a magic damage dealer with some supportive abilities, and her Valor Chant is 30% water resistance up for all allies. You can get her Tome, which is the Elementalist Tome, in Riftbreaker Hard Mode. The next unit, Nagi, is a 4-5 to five star unit, uses an Axe, she's Earth, and she's a Dark type. Her role is mainly a single target damage dealer. Her Valor Chant is a 30% strength up for allies, with a 25% physical tolerance down to all enemies for one turn. You can find her Octo Fighter Tome in the Man-Eating Swamp very hard. The next unit, Sheila, is the story unit. She comes in 2 to 4 star rarity. She uses a lance, she's a water type, and she is a light unit. The role is a physical strength buffer and water resistance debuffing, and her Valor Chant is minus 30% piercing resistance of all enemies. Next we have the Thousand Year Arc of the Ocean Palace. It starts in Actuo. A giant exclamation sign by a boat can be found near the top of the town. It's based off of the Urashima Taro folklore, which is a person that's a fisherman is rewarded for rescuing a turtle and it carried it on its back to the Dragon Palace beneath the sea. And there he is able to entertain a princess Otohime as a reward. You must have completed chapter 11 and have the game updated to at least version 1.3. Recommended levels, starting off is 33, going up to level 50. There's four episodes total, and you get to farm the episode's dungeon, which is the Dragon Palace, to obtain points to unlock for the next chapter and obtain the valuable rewards. Here's just a overview of the rewards breakdown if you run Dragon Palace. You can tell, treasure chests, normal battles, the horror fights, and the boss defeats, uh, all increase accordingly depending on the difficulty. Next we're just going to talk over about some of the character multipliers that you can bring to your Dragon Palace runs. Nagi gets the most with double the pointage. Shio has 1.3. Sheila is a little bit unknown but it appears that her multiplier is dependent on the enemy killed and Lili and Pry both get a 1.1 times bonus. Next up I decided to also add the list of rewards for those that are interested to see the breakdown. You can also check the rewards list in your in-game notice as well. Finally, fishing. Fishing becomes available as you progress through the first quest of the Thousand Year Treasure or the Thousand Year Arc story. Once you reach Kila Beach, which is in the past, you will unlock access to the Barracuda Fishing Store. You can buy and upgrade bait, cooler box, hook, reel, bobber, and the float as you progress by catching and trading the fish back to the Barracuda Fishing Store. And the higher all your components get, the more rare fish that you can fish across the world and across the timelines as well. And if you can make it to the very end, there's a very special reward in store. But I just want to say, fishing is a very long side event to do. It is not for everyone, but from what I've known from the Japanese player base, it does take roughly a little over 80 hours if you're being efficient enough at it. So this is just something to do on the side if you have nothing else to do, or if you're really engaged with fishing in a game like this. And last but not least, what's next? We're going to expect regional dungeons to finally be added. 
the Baruki region as well, and there's going to be some new characters that join VA Dreams. Now I know that this update was a little bit slower because of Golden Week, but I am expecting Wright Flyer Studios to come back to more of a normal cadence with releases with Global, and hopefully Global players will get to enjoy some really awesome upcoming content. Anyways, thank you for checking out my video, and I hope you guys have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.